Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the time response of second order system using damping ratio and natural frequency. Students will be able to determine the time response of a second order control system using damping ratio and natural frequency. We are going to learn two more quantities that will help us analyze second order system. So the first quantity is natural frequency, which has the symbol omega n. And the second quantity is damping ratio, which has the symbol psi. So natural frequency of a second order system is the frequency of oscillation of the system without any damping or when the system has undamped response. So the first step to determine natural frequency is first by eliminating the middle term of the denominator. After that, you can determine the poles. So from here, the poles becomes plus minus square root of B times J. And the square root of B here is the natural frequency. The second quantity is damping ratio. So damping ratio can be determined by using this formula. A divided by 2 times omega n. So A is obtained here. Then the general form of the transfer function GS can be written in terms of natural frequency and damping ratio. Let's look at the first example. So let's say you are given a transfer function GS equals 36 divided by S square plus 4.2 S plus 36. So can you determine damping ratio and the natural frequency? So by definition of transfer function in terms of natural frequency and damping ratio. So from here, we can determine the natural frequency and damping ratio. So the natural frequency is 6 and damping ratio equals 0 0.35. So we can determine the nature of response of second order system by determining the damping ratio. So if the damping ratio is bigger than 1, then the system is overdamped. If it is equals 1, then the system is critically damped. If the damping ratio is in between 0 and 1, then the system is underdamped. And lastly, if damping ratio equals 0, then the system is undamped. Let's look at example number 2. Let's say you are given a transfer function GS equals 400 divided by S square plus 12S plus 400. By using the definition, we can determine natural frequency and damping ratio. So the natural frequency is 20 and damping ratio is 0 0.3. And since the damping ratio is in between 0 and 1, then the system is under them. Second example is when the transfer function GS equals 900 divided by S square plus 90 S plus 900. So the natural frequency is 30 and damping ratio is 1.5. And the system is over them because the damping ratio is bigger than 1. And the third example is when GS equals 225 divided by S square plus 30S plus 225. So the natural frequency is 15 and the damping ratio equals 1 and the system is critically damped and lastly when gs equals 625 divided by 
S squared plus 625. The natural frequency is 25 and the damping ratio is 0. And the system is undamped because the damping ratio equals 0. So can you try to answer quiz number 8? That's all for this video. Thank you.